problem four notes that there is actually a function called radians that will automatically convert from degrees to radians. So let's go ahead and import the cosine function. Let's pretend that we're doing a standalone script here. If we ran the previous cell, we wouldn't have to do this import again. Now from math import radians. Okay, great. It guessed that. And I want to, yeah, I want to do that. Let's go ahead and do that. And this time it was smart and knew that last time I wanted to call it angle deg. So let's let it do that. Convert from degrees to radians. Yeah, that's good. But let's also, ah, okay. And calculate the cosine of the angle. Okay, great. And it did the nesting for me, just as I wanted it to do. Oops. Let's let it go ahead and do that. So what it's going to do is take the angle in degrees, convert it into radians, pass that inside the cosine function, calculate the cosine, pass that inside the print function. So we're basically nesting inside three different functions, which makes for a fairly compact code. Let's go ahead and try this, 45 degrees, and that's the correct answer. So this kind of illustrates that you can make your code more compact, um, but by nesting these functions inside each other, it's a little less straightforward what's going on because it's doing a bunch of things at once. So sometimes it's actually better to put more steps in your code if you're doing something complicated. Uh, and then you can put comments about each step in the process. Depends partly on how sophisticated the people are who are going to be reading your code. If they're already familiar with Python and nesting functions, then you might want to make your code cleaner and more compact. If they're beginners, then you'd probably want to separate it out into multiple steps.